Middlesbrough 1, Manchester United 3 in the Barclays Premier League today in, at the Riverside Stadium, which means Manchester United, after five months, have moved up from that sixth position into fifth. Um, now, let's be honest with you, if the season was to finish today or next week and we were to finish in fifth place, all Manchester United fans would be a little bit disappointed with that. But all Manchester United fans are just happy just to get off that sixth place. As I said, we've been sixth place five months we've been sixth place since november and um, you know we've been we've had so many opportunities to move off, off it and you know we've bottled the chances but today we didn't we took our chance we won three one and we are now in that fifth position and the fact is we have been trolled but uh, you know like chelsea going from our unbeaten record stretching back to October, but let's move them from sixth to sixth. And you, all the rival fans commenting on our tweets saying sixth, you know, we have been trolled for being sixth. And to be fair, we deserve to be because we were bottling our games when we had the chance to. Today, we've moved up, and as I said, whoever lasts, lasts longest. And we are now in that fifth position. And the fact is, hopefully, now we will kick on and start to rise the table. Hopefully, now we will get in the top four. The fact is, Liverpool and City drew as well today. Um, and Arsenal lost yesterday, so some teams around us have been drawn points. Anyway, more about the game. It finished Middlesbrough 1, Manchester United 3. Very good away win for Manchester United. We went for, I would say, a weak lineup. We had a different lineup to what we're used to. No Pogba, no Herrera, no Mikatara, no Martial, no Ibrahimovic, no Rooney. Rashford and Lingard started as we knew. But they got the job done, and to be honest with you, I think Pogba deserves a rest. Ibrahimovic deserves a rest. Um, and you know, so I think you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, them not playing today, we took the lead from a Moan Fellaini header uh, after a lovely cross from Ashley Young that put United one 0 up, and it was doubled from an absolute screamer, stunning strike from Jesse Lingard. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm so proud that Fellaini and Lingard got the goals today because you know they have been heavily, heavily criticised from us, our, even our fans. You know, not even the media, our fans, because. I don't know, people just, you know, scapegoat them. When we're not playing well, Fellaini and Lingard are the two players which people pick on. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to lie, Lingard, he's, he's, not, he's not Messi, he's not Ronaldo. Fellaini, he's not exactly Kante or the best CDM in the league. But, you know, he proved, he proved the people wrong, you know. For Lingard, I've always believed in Lingard, I've always backed Lingard. And, you know, today he proved me why I believe, he proved why I believe in him. Fellaini not so much, sometimes for, I have criticised Fellaini, but today Fellaini proved me one, and I'm glad to see Fellaini and Lingard both get a goal, because at the end of the day I think Fellaini is actually, he's a good player to bring on from the bench, but I'm, I'm not sure if he's a regular Manchester United starter, but when he gets the opportunity, he does come up with some good goals. Um, they got one back, nervy last 10 minutes, I'm going to be honest with you, it was very hard to watch, um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I thought we were going to bottle, I really did, but we didn't, we kept out and we got the third goal from Antonio Valencia, a little bit of a howler from Victor Valdez, but who cares, you know, but Antonio Valencia on his 200th appearance at Manchester United, taps at home, 3-1 Manchester United, no problem whatsoever for United, and now we are in fifth place, we've moved up from, well, we started the day in seventh, as I said, we've been sixth since November, we have actually moved up to fifth for an hour earlier in the season we moved down to seventh we start the day in seventh today but I want when I say sixth I'm talking about the start of each match week and the end of each match week but yeah we're now fifth we've got a good 3-1 victory you know away at Middlesbrough I mean at the end of the day we should be beating Middlesbrough away from home let's not get too carried away we should be I think if we're drawing or losing this game you would say yeah we should be beating this winning this game but the fact is they've just sacked their manager Ato Karanka in the week and usually when teams down the bottom, sack their manager. They have a different, they have a turnaround in belief. Look at Leicester City. Look how they've changed since ranieri has been sacked. Look how um, Hull have changed. Look how Swansea have changed. And I thought Middlesbrough were going to change. I thought their players were going to start playing today. And I thought when I heard the news of Crank against sacked, I was like, oh no, because we're playing them. And I thought that Middlesbrough was only going to turn really, really good today. But they didn't, and we won three one, and that's the main thing. Um, yeah, we've got the 3-1 victory. Um, it's been a very difficult week. And as I said, I didn't think we were going to win today just because of what we've had. You know, it's been a very hectic week. I see Roy Keane slamming Mourinho. Look, I don't think Mourinho can use this as an excuse, but I think he can have a, he has a right to have a, you know, criticise. You know, he played on Monday night in London. 
know, we played on Rostov on Thursday and then we played a game today. That's like a game every other three days. We played three games in six days compared to Middlesbrough who haven't, haven't played in eight days or whatever. So yeah, no, great result to go there away from home in the Barclays Premier League and win 3-1. Great to see Fellaini, Lingard and Valencia score. Three scorers you don't see very often. And it was great to see, you know, a team, it was great to see a team without some of our big players prove themselves right and, you know, show that they have the fight to be in this team. But finally, Manchester United and a match with you where we're not in that sixth place. And as I said, we've been trolled. Whoever lasts, lasts, lasts longest. And now we've got, you know, we're two games. If we win our two games in hand, we're fourth. So we'll see how it goes, you know. And elect in Europa League. Things are looking up for Manchester United. But it's finished here in Middlesbrough 1, Manchester United 3. Thanks for watching this review and I'll see you later.